I'm here with Peter of PML Flightlink, and he's going to tell us about this amazing Ford F-150 that they've electrified with four wheel motors. Thank you very much. Um, well, what we have here, the first thing that you, the first thing that you notice about the car is that there's no engine in here, and, and what we've done is completely taken this engine out and we've put it down into the wheels down here. There's an electric drive motor, 150 horsepower motor sitting in, in, e in each wheel, and it's a true four wheel drive vehicle. Four wheel drive, four motors. Four wheel drive, four motors. Each each motor, each motor is generating uh, each motor generating 150 horsepower. In terms of torque, that's 1,200 foot pounds of torque per motor, or a thousand newton meters, a uh, thousand newton meters torque per motor. What we're doing here, what we're trying to show here, is actually the technology works, and, and our motto, no compromise, means that we don't think, we don't see why you, if you want to drive a big car, you want to drive electric, and you want to drive a big car. Then, then you can do it, then, and the technology is here for, you, for, for, for people to be able to do that. Very cool. Let's take a look at some of the pieces. One thing that I want to show you first is the wheel motor. It's the, uh, the, the, the wheel motor. It's a permanent magnet brushless, uh, brushless motor. Um, as I said, there's one of those in each wheels, and it's, and it's connected to the, uh, a regular suspension, and it's connected to a regular, a, a regular wheel and a regular, with, with, with a regular tire. One of the things that we've done is to be able to put a, a battery here, about midpoint of the car here, it's slung between the chassis rails. It's a, it's a lithium-ion battery. Uh, it's a, it weighs a thousand pounds, and it's about a 40 kilowatt hour battery. And what that does is it gives us about a hundred miles range uh, out of this particular out of this particular configuration. Now, this, as I said earlier, is a pure electric vehicle. We don't. It's not a hybrid yet. It's something that we're going to be doing in the future. Is converting that into in converting that into a serial hybrid or a series hybrid. Okay. Well, so what we so what we have here are these um, uh, with these cables. You've got uh, a motor feed or, or a power feed going to each uh, each each motor. Uh, there's also quite a sophisticated battery management system on there that gives us a lot of information about um, about lith about the battery state and the state of the battery. Lith lithium ion technology. You have to be very careful about how you manage it. It's perfectly safe technology as long as you manage it and as long as you as long as you look after those batteries well. Okay, so what we have here is the is the charger. It's a regular uh, a regular 110 volt charger, but and that will give a charge time of about 6 to 8 hours. But we also can do a three-phase charge on this as well uh, and and that would give us a fast charge of, a, of of under an hour. We don't have any need of course for um, an RPM an engine RPM meter anymore, but so what we've done is replaced that there with a Still with a speedo, but also with a, a battery status. Uh, it looks at uh, how much uh, how much energy is in the battery, how the battery is performing. As I said, it's important that uh, we take good care of that battery, but it means we get long life out of that. It's a 40 kilowatt hour battery that we've got in there. It's a big battery, and in fact, if this vehicle ever went into production, then actually what you want to do is to have a slightly smaller battery, and you probably have to want to have a serious hybrid. It's, a, it's an empty space where the engine was. Um, what we um, uh, what we plan to do with this vehicle is to is to is to drop a small engine in there uh, with a generator on to, to charge the battery in a series hybrid configuration. Uh, the box the box is the the brains the controller. Uh, what's that doing? It's it's controlling each one of these four motors. Um, it, but but also what it's doing is each motor is also talking to each of the other motors. They know exactly what's happening. So it means you're getting the launch control, the ABS. It's also an infinitely variable differential, a software differential that we have on here. It's a true four-wheel drive configuration that we have. It's regenerative braking. We want to capture every piece of energy that we possibly can do. And what, do that, what does that mean is that when the vehicle, when you actually want to brake the vehicle, what, what happens is that the, is the motors turn from being motors into generators. And we feed that energy back into the, uh, back into the battery and try to capture as much of that uh, precious energy as we possibly can do.